Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to work with Android Navigation Drawer. We are going to create a project that has Navigation Drawer, add Navigation Event Listener, and even add a custom item to the Navigation Drawer. So let's get started. File, new project. I'm going to work with Navigation Drawer Activity. I'm going to call this one now Drawer. I'm going to use Android X. So setting up the project. Let's open this project and see what we have here. So by default, you realize that the later versions of Android Studio, we have different fragments created by default. So we have gallery, home, send share, slideshow, and tools. Then we have the array out here. So let's learn this and see what we have. This was my first one. So let me remove this one. This one too. Installing the application, launching. So by default, we have gallery. When you click gallery, we have gallery fragment displayed. Slideshow, slideshow fragment, and even home, you have home fragment. So let me add on navigation event. Oh, but when you click gallery, I'm going to toast a message and say you have clicked gallery, and even hide this fab button. So navigation controller dot add on destination change to listener new navigation controller that is on destination change listener. So I'm going to get the ID of the clicked menu. Destination.get ID. I'm going to switch this menu ID. The first case I'm going to listen is al.nav, al.id.navgarel, Blake. So when you click on the gallery, I'm going to toast a message here. Toast load, make text, main activity. Dot this, you tap gallery, toast dot length long, and you're going to show. I'm also going to hide the form or button dot hide. Then I'm going to have my default here. For button load, share. So let's learn and see what we have. You can add as many case events here. You can add navigation home, what you want to perform, what you want to change the UI. So when I tap on the gallery, now you tap the gallery and my fab button is hidden. And I tap home, my fab button comes back. I'm going to add another item here, it's accounts. So I'm going to menu, create a new item here, I'm going to call it navigation accounts. I'm going to create state here, so string name, menu accounts. Then the icon, I'm going to generate a new icon. Let me get this on. And I'm going to add it here. So let's learn and see what you have. So when I tap on the navigation icon, I have my accounts here. So I'm going to add navigation event here. So let me create a new fragment for my accounts.
fragment plus view model. I'm going to call the activity name as main. Counts. Finish. So I have my main account here. I have main account fragment here. So I'll go to my navigation, mobile navigation, and add it. So this is now accounts. And I'm going to my accounts fragment. I've, it's called the top up title, which will be menu accounts. And then I'm going to open fragment. So which will be accounts fragment. It's here. You can change even the title. Let me increase the size. I'm going to make it 22. And even the text, I'm going to call it my accounts. Then I'm going to add it in my main activity here. All.id. Now accounts. Let's see what we have. Learn the project. So when I tap, I have home, gallery, slideshow, tools, and accounts. So you have my accounts in. I'm going to add a button, which when I click, I'm going to open a new activity. So let's see how I can do that. So I'm going to go fragment, accounts, and I'm going to add, let me remove this one. I have button, lab content, lab content. I'm going to give it an ID button next i'm going to give it background primary duck text i'm going to call it next the car i'm going to give it car weight and then i'm going to position it center so i'm going to position it center so I have alignment horizontal and vertical so I have my button next. So I'm going to have my view view. View, view is equal to that one. Then I'm going to return view. Here I'm going to find my button. Button next. So I'm going to have view dot find view by ID add dot ID dot button next. So when this button is clicked dot set on click listener new view dot click listener. So when you tap on this button, I'm going to open a new activity. So let me create a new activity here. And I'm going to call it user accounts so inside this activity let me create a text lab content lab content and the text will be user accounts i'm going to position it center horizontally and even vertically. So when you click on this button, what I'm going to do is start activity, new intent, get context, and then I'm going to start user account activity dot class. So let's learn and see what we have. So you have our accounts, you have our next button. When I tap on the next button, user account activity is launched. So thank you guys for watching. Remember to subscribe if you're not subscribed for more tutorials.